Hello everyone and welcome back. Okay, I'm ready. I have my stack of things. I already organized all of it and um, took it out of my um, suitcases and the boxes that I shipped and separated everything. And these are the things that are here. There's a few things that are still um, on their way. But this was like the bulkier things, especially like things like this that weigh too much in the suitcase, I send them. Um, through the mail it's a one a year once a year type of thing so I don't mind doing it um, when I finally get things that I haven't been able to get here so let me share the things that I was able to get just in case um, you guys are interested in any of them but I found this color shift paint by Folk Art I had not seen it before so I decided to um, buy three colors to try it out because I haven't seen it here and it's basically um, an iridescent type of paint that changes colors as the light hits it, I'm hoping. So I bought three colors to try it out. And then I also saw this one that I had not seen, which is a brushed metal. And I decided to buy it in uh, brushed bronze to try it out, which is a color that I love using. So those were paints that I found at Michael's. And then I also found this Martha Stewart, um, the rose gold. I had gotten this on Amazon and I really liked it a lot. So I decided to get another one. So those were the paints um, from the folk art and, and Martha Stewart section. But then I also got the heavy body acrylics from Liquitex. I just love the colors on this. Haven't tried it yet. So I decided um, I might give this a try. So this is... Um, yeah, that's the fun of being able to go to the store um, a few times and have coupons to, or coupons, coupons to be able to get things for a good price, which I normally don't have. So, and then I also got myself the Liquitex Professional Soft Body Acrylics, and it's an iridescent set. It comes with these colors, and yes, these are in tubes, so I want to try those out. So these are like my artsy. Um, things. <laughs> then also for Michaels, I found this stamp set, which is the favorite one of all the sets that she came out with. I just love this one with the artsy girl and then all of the sayings that um, are the type of sayings that I would able to I would be able to use um, a lot. So getting messy and mixed media and make something pretty today. Play, practice take time to create, all those fun things. This is for the um, planner, which I don't have, but I just thought, and this is like one of my favorite um, of her stamps. So I'm glad that, that she comes in a smaller size than this one too. So I just thought this was a fun, fun set to um, have and play with and be able to get a lot of use of. So that's the one I got. And then they didn't have a lot of stamps. Um, there so these were like my two favorites so i got this one and then i got this one which comes with a stencil and it had all these different birds i've been wanting these for a while so when i saw this one i thought this was a chance to get it <laughs> and then i got myself some stencils so i bought this one from folk art I was just looking for things that are different from what I have and then I would be able to use in the workshops and for myself. So I got some flamingos. I think that's like the first flamingo thing that I bought. Then this Martha Stewart set had like the doilies and all those vines and things that I know that I can use a lot. So got myself this set and these are adhesive but they clean well and work well in other um, brands so I thought that Martha Stewart's will work just as well so I just love those <laughs> so that's the other stencil set and then this one I just thought it had really fun shapes to use individually so bought this one too also from Folk Art and then this one that had that elephant that I really love and then all of those like mandala type of patterns. I'm sorry, I was like sitting on my foot and it was crunching. So 
this is another circle from Olcar, that um, another stencil I mean. And then the last stencil that I got for myself was this one that had those letters, the big um, bird cage, and the birds, which I loved. I really, really like those birds. I love birds. So I basically got it for those birds and for that um, alphabet stencil because it's different from what I have. So those are um, the stencils that I was um, able to get for myself. The other ones, you know, that I got for my aunt. So that is from Michael's. What else is from Michael's? Let me see. <clears throat> There's different trips. So I'll just show you this. This is from, we went to a book fair. So the books were like $2, $3, and $4 the maximum. So I bought myself this book. Actually, it was for me and Sophia. She liked it a lot too. So we got this one. And then this is a book that my sister had bought for me at a book fair that she went to. And I think it was like $5 for this 19th and 20th century art big book of reference. So it's painting, sculpture, and architecture. And this is a lot of fun to have for um, reference for students and for myself. Yeah, see, it was $5. But she had not been able to ship it, so I shipped it to myself. So those are books that I got for a really good price. Some other ones are coming in different boxes later on. Then I got this book, which is called Wabi Sabi, The Art of Everyday Life. These are just inspirational little quotes. Um, to read through and use it for our journaling and that type of thing. So I just, I fell in love with that little book. So I got myself that little book and this book, which was at a bargain price. So this is ways to live in harmony and it has a coloring side and then quotes on the other side. So it's a fun little book to have around, read through, play with, you know? And for that price, um, I thought it was a good buy. And then this is like the one book that I bought to read. <laughs> the Gift, Creativity, and the Artist in the Modern World. So it just sounded really interesting. So that's another book that I bought. And then these things are, I, th I think these two are from Joanne's. This is like a watercolor type of cardstock that you can use for backgrounds for different things. So that was like in the clearance little bin. And then this one's craft tape paper and I love working on craft, so I got myself that. So that was from Joann's. These were on sale. I don't remember how much. I don't I don't know if it was two packs for ten dollars or something like that. But I didn't I had not bought like purples so I got myself one for purples and of course, my aquas and my blues that I always love and use. So that was the other set of colors that I got because I already had reds and like other types. Then I bought the white, just a basic white that I can use for multiple projects. And these humongous ones that are um, 110 pound. I've heard a lot of people use them for stamping. I want to try them out. And this time I had the chance to get them. So... Um, I got two of those. So, those were the papers. Then got myself some charcoal um, pencils. A set of those. These are the sponges from Dollar Tree that um, I bought myself. When, like one of the last days I went back and I got these at half off, I decided I wanted to try them. My daughter was like talking and raving about them and she wanted to try them too so I bought a set that we could try out and I already um, sort of played a little bit um, you, making a face with the skin color on this not too convinced that it was the best example of using them but it was fun to do it was uh, it, the colors were fun to use and um, the markers are fun to use and you basically just turn the tips and they make them touch each other and then you can blend it. Um, it, how do you call it? It changes from light to dark as you're um, using the marker. 
but I need to um, use them more to be able to talk a little bit more about them and review them better. But these were great, and they're basically, I think they were $26, and I got them at half off. So, yeah, that was a treat for both of us. Then I got these. These were on sale. I think these were like a dollar or something for five, and I, I just love the size. I can use it horizontally or vertically, and it's a really nice, cute size that I can work with. So got that. Got these. I think these were also a really good price. These are wood plaques that you can, or a wood panel that you can paint on. Nice thickness, nice size, nice um, texture on it. So mixed media heaven. And then I got these were get one and get the other one half off. So I bought this mixed media paper um, to try out with a really convenient size to play with. And then I got some mixed media notebooks. They didn't have the ones that I usually buy. The visual journal, they didn't have that. So I got these um, and they seem, they seem nice, they're not as thick, but I know I'll use them. Mixed media paper to play with. Okay, and then let's see, let's see, let's see. What else? I got this for storage. So um, I think these were on sale at the time, the day that I went. <clears throat> but I had been eyeing them. I like the colors on them, like the size on them, and I just decided to get it. So, and I have things stored in because I shipped it in my bags. So these were sets of brushes that ha they had on sale for $8. So I got two different sets with a whole bunch of brushes in like different sizes that I could use for um, classes and workshops and for myself. So, and then I also got an extra one of these because I needed it. And then, um, this is just from BAM, books for, what are you called, books a million? This is for holding books standing up and open, so. <clears throat> and then I went and I got some stickers for my calendar for this year. Well, this um, is for the giveaway. So I'm gonna put this, 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 all goes inside of that envelope that has the things for that giveaway that I'm doing. So if you haven't checked it out, please go over to the video that says um, 1,000 subbies, share your thoughts, giveaway those are going to be part of that please um go over and check it out and i hope you participate and help me out in spreading those this is just the packaging for the brushes because um it's a really nice um sample card that i can share what else do i have here and then these are stickers that i bought for my calendar just to add little things for the calendar love those little cute elephants so cute then i always try to find at least one art set so this one, I just thought it was beautiful. So I treated myself to that. And then I got myself a little pack of hearts. <laughs> These ladybugs I fell in love with. They are adorable. So I'll be using those. And then these are cute little candies and ice creams and fun stuff. And then these are for, these two I had, I think I had shared already. These, um, I got all of these for my students. No, I, I don't think I shared them. These are all for my students. So I got these. They love when I give them stickers. They put, I put little stickers in their hands when they leave the class. So I bought all of these to share with them um, after class. So those were, the stickers that I got, this on um, the other side is empty. I mean, this like pouch is empty, but I had packed my um, stencils and a few other things in here. <clears throat> I just took it out so I could share it. And then the last side on this um, pouch that I have filled in with stuff, and it's also things that I bought, is this side I got. Yay, finally got the 
teal scotch tape that I loved and I found this other one with another pattern that I liked a lot. I used um, the one that I bought last year a lot so I bought myself another one and then I found this one so I bought it. And then these are the pens that I bought at, Dollar, at the Dollar Tree and then I also got um, a set of Sharpies in like pastel colors. I don't remember. There's two sets but I don't remember the names of them. See, so, and then they also had the pit pens. No, well, whatever. I, I'm sorry, I just can't remember all of it. I bought myself um, some metallics and some pastels and the Sharpies. They're paint pens. Paint pens. Right? So, come on, focus. Don't lose your focus. Focus. Oops, sorry for that. I don't know why it's not focusing. It is so hot here. We've been in Vermont and it's been like 50, 60, 70 at the most um, this last few days. And then I got here and it's like super humid and it's 90 degrees and I'm like, oh, it's so stuffy. So I'm trying to get used to the weather here again. Um, what else do I have here? I have these. I got myself the butterflies, got some leaves for fall. I just love those. And then these other leaves and that flower, those were the sets that I got for myself. Then I went back and I got a few other ones, but I don't have them here because I shipped them later. I thought, I just thought these were so cute, so I got myself one set in the reds and pinks and one set in the blues and greens. These were so cute. They're made with rick racks, so they're not, I mean, it's not like it's not easy to make, but they're already made, so yay. And then these are like, these were on sale. Just orange little baggies. I love getting those types of things to play with. And I think, I think, I think this might be it. No, I have a glue gun, a tiny one. I just, I like the size and I bought it. <laughs> and I got the glue sticks, um, cause I can't find mine. And the one I've been using is the one that I bought on Tuesday morning and it's not working really well. These were from Joann's. So I bought some fabric squares in the teal and that um, really pretty um, silver or gray tone. And the patterns are so pretty. And I don't know why I'm a fool for getting these. I love them. <laughs> and then these are the two magazines that I bought. And I don't remember if I bought them at Joann's or if I bought them at um, Books A Million. But um, I got because I, I, I know I looked at in both places, but I, I went to the store so many times back and forth and thinking and everything that I don't remember which time I got them. But I got this one. Um, I love that it says, find your tribe, how to thrive in your art community. And I just, this was the one that I um, was drawn to, explore mixed media. So yeah, I got that one. And this one I had not seen before. And I love this um, line or this, um, brand of magazine I, they didn't have the ones that they usually have and since i go once a year i usually try to get at least two or three of the ones that i really 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 like but this was the only one they had so um and it was appropriate so it's the art of paper and mixed media and it's i was eyeing it on the plane with all like my kids needing me and stuff but um it's basic it's uh, it has um a challenge for making tags. It's called Tag Your It, and it sh they're sharing a whole bunch of different um, ways to use tags. So it was an interesting um, one to get, and that's why I got it. So that's it, guys. The only other thing that I got from Joann's are these things, and these are for um, a project that I'm gonna be working on. My sister's getting married in October, and she wanted me to make her some wine charms. And we saw an idea that I really liked, but I just didn't like the way they had done them. And I, I told her I could do them for her. But this is just an extra trim that I bought that I liked. And so I bought this to work on that because it's um, thread sealer for the ends. It's, it's just something I thought I'd try. And because I'm gonna be working on many of them. And then, I got myself some of these um, embroidery threads and I got a little bit of um, 
a splurge on this. It's for the seed beads to collect them and pick them up. And you know how much I use them, so I got myself that. And then there's a whole bunch of embroidery thread, and I'm going to be making some tassels for her. I got some colors that I liked, and then she picked the ones that she wanted for her set. So those are coming in a separate box because I split them. But um, we're going to be making um, tassels with these and some charms. So when I have those done, I'll share them if they are a success. But this is the mess that I just made with everything that I got um, yesterday and that I unpacked. And... Yeah, and there's, there's also the envelope that has the magazines for the giveaway and the new things that I just inserted. And there are some other things that are coming in the other boxes that I sent that I'm going to include there. So, um, hope you liked it. Um, please go over and um, look at that video if you haven't already and share it if you can and help me reach, I think I'm like 18 or 19 subbies away from reaching 1,000. So, I'm so very close, but I need your help. Um, to spread the word and to make that happen. So hugs and kisses to all of you. Thanks for watching It was a long video, but it's like many different things from many different places So it took a while, but I hope you enjoyed it. Besitos. Take care and see you all soon. Bye